Today, Jenny Soseski is going to talk with us about multiple offers. And Jenny, I'd imagine, for all, welcome, first of all. Thank you, Dave. And I would imagine this is, uh, would be kind of a nightmare. Uh, I have never been in this situation, but is it common to want to put a bid in on a house and you get several offers? It's not as common nowadays as it was, you know, a few years back, but it does happen occasionally where we do get multiple offers on a property. So if we're buying a home and now all of a sudden we've got two or three offers on a particular home, how does that change the closing process or the buying process? Well, Dave, it doesn't have to take any longer. It's basically pre presenting the multiple offers to the seller and letting them decide which offer they'd like to accept. So when it comes to submitting that offer uh, and you know that there are going to be multiple offers, is there a way that we as the potential owner of that home, ways to sweeten the deal? I think the best thing is obviously put your best price into it. You know, offer the most that you can and don't have a ton of contingencies. You know, don't make the, the seller pay for closing costs or, you know, extra things that need to be done. The less contingencies, the sweeter the deal is for the seller. With multiple offers on the, on the home, is it better to offer fewer contingencies? Is that probably our best way to getting the home? Dave, it really depends on the seller. I mean, if they're looking at price more than anything, that may be their motivation, but if the contingencies are things such as, you know, paying for closing costs, obviously that will affect the, the bottom line for the seller, but there also could be contingencies like putting in new carpet or um, a home inspection or different things that a seller may not want to agree to. So yes, the less contingencies, the better it is for the seller. Now, I've also heard the term clean offer. Explain what that clean offer is. Sure, Dave. That's basically where you don't have contingencies. You know, this is the price I'm willing to pay and that's it. There's not based on, you know, the sale of another home or the approval from another person or an inspection or anything like that. There's pretty much no contingencies or as little as possible. Jenny, thank you for uh, talking with us about the multiple offer situation. Thank you, Dave. This week, I'd like to feature two homes that recently had price reductions. One is located at 4228 West 9th Street in Winona. It's a great two-bedroom, two-bath home right in the heart of Goodview. And the other one is at 708 East 8th Street, a nice solid brick home, two bedrooms and one bath. For more information, please go to winonahomeswithjenny.com.